exposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy. Love me. Hey, welcome to Conspiracy Dummy, the conspiracy podcast that's here to fuck up the new year. I am your host, Double DMD. Joining me, my co-host, Dr. Williams. What's good, homie? Warning. Even though we have the bedside manners of doctors, we are not doctors. Good to be back. Glad to be back. You're in the saddle yet again. Yep, yep. I concur. I concur. Um, what do we got today? Today, today, man. Uh, well, sorry. We had to take a break. Uh, some motherfuckers will be getting sick and shit. Um, you know how that is, but I don't know. We're sick with it. Let's say it that way, right? We sick with it. We sick with it. We sick with people getting sick, you know, mm-hmm. or us getting sick, and mm-hmm. the whole everything that's going on right now. Yeah. Um, I mean, just tired of it, dude. Tired of it, huh? Two years, man. I guess this is crazy. March maybe? Uh no, they said twenty it was like twenty late twenty November twenty nineteen. Questionable, which, huh? Somewhere when like, they had yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then come like February, March of twenty twenty was when all the I'm pretty sure all the lockdowns the lockdown really started all, happening. Yeah. But well I mean the other thing too is uh not to totally divert onto a different topic, but George Floyd, that whole protest situation happened in you know, happened literally in essentially the peak of the lockdown in america remember i mean that was the peak lockdown April, when george June, huh? yeah yeah when george they george floyd uh you know died and then people were you know out yeah protesting i mean tens of thousands of people yeah it was around that time you know yeah. like a month or a couple months before yeah. Huh? Yeah. and even to this day they don't talk about like nobody looks at that about how um i don't want i don't know how articulated but just like the some would view the hypocrisy or whatever of people, you know, there being lockdowns, you know, and yeah. people going out, but nobody really, you know, mentioned that on in the media. It's Cause it's weird, bro. I don't think humans. Well, I don't know, man. You, some people are incarcerated and they have to deal with that shit, but I don't think we're made for that shit. You know what I mean? I don't think we're to be locked up away from people. No socializing and stuff. No, no dude, no, man. it fucks with you psychologically. Human evolution was built on tribalism and being in a group well survival really i mean yeah. you know survival in the sense of you know having somebody to watch your back and to help you so no oh and that's what they do to you know fuck with people you know when you go to jail and you fuck up big time they throw your ass in solitary confinement you know yeah, you've heard of uh there's a um, person out there uh tt jerry yeah and they have a crazy story of being uh they sliced the tip of uh, somebody's dick off in jail, and uh-huh. they got like, and then they got their piss and shit in a bucket and threw it at one of the jail guards, and they got like two years of solitary confinement. They said when you're, in, uh, sh- she said when you're in s- solitary confinement, um, she only got like, like one or two hours of uh, outside time a week. Oh fuck. Yeah, that. and yeah. went like sometimes thirty days without taking a shower. And almost, Ooh. almost to the point of what? Yeah. yeah, almost to the point of what went, went crazy mentally because just being alone by yourself, you know. Yeah. But you know, to be fair, a lot of people, you know, I'm not in this category, but some people had family, you know, oh, yeah. people at home, so they weren't necessarily at home. Oh, alone, that, and that fucks with you too, man. When you have to separate from each other, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Quarantine. One's in one room, one's in the garage, one's in the kitchen or living room area. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, you gotta make it work, man. I don't know, it's it's crazy, but all is good. Um, and I wish everyone well as well. We're here in the new year, and um, and hopefully it's just a lot better than these last two. You know, we said the same thing last year. I don't want to sit here and you know try to repeat the same rhetoric because you know it is getting crazy, bro. It is getting crazy, and, and you know I don't want to slowly go insane and expecting a different you know year every year, and it. it we're going to go insane for a little bit right here, man. Because nowadays, there's a madness to the scientific method. Mm-hmm. All that shit, what is it? Like, uh, observation, question, hypothesis, experiment, conclusion, result. Those steps. 
As soon as you get to question, boom, they want to shut you the fuck up. Yeah. Censorship, bro. Yep. Science is compromise, I believe. I hate to say it, but money talks, I guess. Oh, 100%. I mean, I think around a lot of this, you know, people can see the lucrative, um, you know, incentive for this to happen. You know, there's something uh, you know of. I don't know if, how many people know. It's Agenda uh, 21. Oh, or, shit. You know, they had that summit meeting. And it's the same thing. It, that, and that's the crazy thing. It's the same thing that happened 9-11. 9-11, like a week before 9-11 happened, they had a, a simulation of what would happen if something similar to that, so, somebody hijacked a plane and crashed it into a building. A week oh, later, 9-11 yeah. happens. And yeah. what happened with COVID? Two or three weeks before the COVID outbreak, you know, made headlining news. <clears throat> they had this... I don't know the who or the whoever, the NIH, I don't know. They had a, a summit they do every year, something like that. And they had a simulation of what, what if there was a, a, an outbreak. And I'm pretty sure the simulation even was of a SARS outbreak in particular. And it, you know, it didn't happen. The yeah. only thing they got wrong was, were two things. They got wrong the year and where it started. Because in the simulation... Uh, they said we are living in a simulation, but in the simulation, then they said that it would happen in 2025 and it would originate from Spain, but it happened in 2019 and came out of China. Damn. Yeah. So, and then, you know, and I think too, bro, like the WHO allegedly, I don't know, this is what I heard too, the conspiracy that I think China as well, they knew about this, but like kept it away for the media for a while, suppressed it. Or coming or leaking in and shit. Oh yeah. And then oh, it came yeah. out in March when everyone started talking about. But they knew about stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know if it was just an epidemic at that time. But then it mm -hmm. just spread, or who knows? But they they knew about it, and that guy just comes to show too. Like they're not gonna release information right away. Right. I, maybe it, it's like like that one fucking movie, bro. I know, I know I know you didn't see this movie, the Don't Look Up. It's like oh that whole yeah. Fucking same yeah, kind of scenario. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, in that case, that just shows that people are stupid. I wonder if we were to put, be put to that test, like if they release something, how people would react. Uh, that's almost in my, I haven't seen the movie, so I yeah. don't know for sure. But I feel like that p in particular is more of an idiocracy comparison. Like when yeah. people are so dumb that they might even border on being intelligently negligent or whatever. Or it could be the opposite then. then if they, the reason why they suppress this information coming out is people will go fucking crazy because it destroys the f fabric of society i my opinion you know I mean? is is and which i have quite a few of them my opinion is that i think it is as contagious and i think some variants like omicron for instance i think it's probably the most contagious but i think overall covid in general is like insanely contagious right because it's an airborne respiratory thing yeah um we're gonna get into mm -hmm. those too yeah oh yeah, yeah. but but uh I don't think it was kind of looming in China for two to three to four months uh, in people and was slowly percolating, you know, until yeah. it until it popped off. I think it happened, you know, something leaked, whatever happened, happened. And in a matter of weeks, you know, essentially two to three, maybe four weeks, mm -hmm. then it, it really started, you know, cooking with gas. Yeah. And, you know, at that point, it really started crossing from cities to towns to provinces states continents, countries yeah. continents yeah very quickly so you had covid delta mm -hmm. omicron and i guess there's that new one that's supposed to be coming out right now in france the ihu so these are variants well, remember, of a variant right remember the mu yeah the mu variant mu mu that was a flash in the pan the mu mm. mu variant came out fucking i don't know man a few months ago it's all a blur and uh, they made they were tripping about that, and I haven't heard one thing since then about that variant. Match, maybe they all merge at the same time. I think there's like I think I saw some data showing that they kind of all merge because it's like I guess Delta is the variant of COVID, mm. Omicron's a variant of Delta. Is that how it is? And Wait, all, all this shit's getting me so confused now. They're talking about Delta Cron, Flu Rona. They're mixing these fucking <laughs> like a James Bond movie. Dummy. Conspiracy dummy. I don't know how they're reading it too. When when you go get tested, mm -hmm. they tell you. I asked this one lady. I'm not getting tested anymore. I'm tired of all that. Dude. Just 
if I get sick, just deal with it. Um, but I asked the lady, so when you get tested, like, are you, do you know right now, like what you're getting tested for? If you're positive, is it just COVID? They're still just labeling it as COVID. How do you know if you get Delta or Omicron? And she's like, you don't like, I guess it's up to the labs to determine all that. Mm -hmm. So you don't even know what you got. So maybe at the time when you hear about those people, you're just falling dead on those videos and shit. I guess, you know, was it in China? Yeah. Huh? And, um, we know that the East coast got it worse than the West coast. Do you think there was just different strands of it? Or maybe these things were just put out all together saying that now they're just saying that they're just variants. Well, it is true that, um, and I am an epidemiologist slash PhD slash virologist as well, just yeah. to clarify. Dr. Dre is not the only doctor here. Yeah, yeah. Um, viruses can and will mutate, right? So I, I think COVID was the, the COVID SARS or whatever mm -hmm. was the umbrella virus. Yes. And then you did have variants that, you know, f merged from that. Omicron, Omicron, Delta, Mu, uh, whatever other ones they've they've said, which is, they've had little bursts here and there. Um, I think it started with COVID SARS, and yeah. then it did it did mutate because I I do remember hearing on the news there were tons of different little strains uh, that came out here and there, and exactly what you said, and and it affect it was typical around certain regions only mm -hmm. just as an example you know let's say it really hit you know ireland pretty bad but for whatever reason neighboring countries or whatever it didn't really afflict them you know near as bad so was, there were some strains that were regional in a sense yeah. um do you remember when they initially when COVID came out i can't remember if it was COVID or delta it might have been COVID. they were saying um and this is i got this off uh, my local news mm -hmm. so you know take that with a grain of salt yeah. but they said it was uh it was affecting black people the african-american community more than it was the latino the asian the caucasian community um what uh, that had anything to do with i don't know it, whether that's true or not then i don't they, know then someone but, said that they should give the vaccines to african-americans first like that yeah and people people got real mad uh, i was too were i'm like I don't want, none like, of us wanted to take the vaccine no first, we, man. well, Fuck that well shit. there's a lot of problems with trying to use the african-american community as a guinea pig because people were yeah. drawing lines between the tuskegee experiments and then wanting to give oh, yeah. the african-american community yeah, the fuck fucking jab fuck that um shit. And to say that they so, never got did anything wrong or harmful to people in the past, mm -hmm. fuck, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, get the fuck out of here with that. Um, so, uh, fuck, I lost my train of thought. Oh, my bad, doggy. Um, you know, they, so just just building on your point that yeah. there were instances of regional strains. There were instances of certain ethnicities or what have you. Yeah. Uh, you know, being affected more. But the fact of the matter stands that when you, if you look at, you know, the death rate, you know, I don't have any, I don't know how credible my source is versus yours versus theirs. Of what, you, COVID right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say um, they, well, the it's more, supposedly it's like 5.6 million. Okay. Uh, well, they said. Oh, that's in clean drive-bys, like uh, flu-rona, mm -hmm. uh, whatever, cancer. You know what I mean? I don't know if any of those people are just dying from those Dude, kind of things. My late great cousin got ran over by a fucking steamroller they took him to the hospital found out he had covid that's what I'm saying COVID. man that's how pretty sure how they, a lot of these hospitals are listening to shit yeah yeah carry on sorry um man i got careful with this table huh <laughs> i know it sounded like the wires tripping <laughs> off of jurassic park i thought a fucking t-rex was about to pop out this place is bugged bro that's why you get that little bing. jeez louise um Spying. I totally lost my train of thought on that. We're one. gonna do that a lot here, bro. But I'll bring you back. I'll pull. Yeah, we'll come back to it. Um, so, if okay, uh, what do we know so far with COVID? Like when it comes to mask, vaccines, maybe the symptoms. Oh, I know the symptoms go; they're crazy. That's what I was gonna let's get. Start at. With, yeah, let's start with. Uh, what, what? Of that, they said that a lot of the deaths deaths were mm -hmm. attributed to comorbidities, and they were saying that. 
And this is, I think, literally from the CDC itself. They said 70 to 80 percent of the deaths were attributed to people that had like four or more comorbidities, diabetes, cancer, mm. um, just, you know, underlying health issues and being yes. immunocompromised, things like that. How, you know, people are going to look back and watch initially the, how the news was handling it compared to now. Because you remember, we all do. The initially, they were talking about, well, we don't need masks. And if you're, you know, wearing wear two masks. Mask and yeah. Well, there, initially, yeah. we even, you know, Fauci came on and saying, you don't need to wear masks. You know, if we just wore masks, all that's going to do is make other people feel safe. And then they started implementing, you know, the mandation of wearing masks in certain indoor establishments, right? And even outdoors to an extent. And they're saying that cloth masks doesn't do shit. Like, Oh it's just no! Like space decoration, dude. You look at it like, I, 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 I knew the N95 is probably the best one to use. I was listening to a really credible uh, doctor, and this was this was a while ago, so I'm not even gonna try to pretend to know the numbers. But they were talking about the micron size of, you know, viruses compared to like, I'm probably gonna fuck it up, like bacteria or something along those oh, lines. Oh, dude, the virus and they is said, much smaller. Yeah, they said a, a virus could live in a bacteria cell. Yeah. How small a virus And is. I heard that there's a virus, or maybe a few viruses, that are the size of a bacteria. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's some big viruses out there, too, but they're normally but, smaller than a bacteria, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think... My, Vi- viruses my, get viruses, I believe. Right. Or, yeah. My personal opinion is, is I, I do think that masks will help to a degree... But I don't think they help to the degree that people think they do, right? Yeah. In in uh, I truly just think it's more for people's peace of mind than it's re- than it's actually doing something to, to stop the spread. Remember, remember, it was fourteen days to uh, yeah, you know, slow the curve. That was slow the curve, and then now that it's was over. T- it's that 10. was over like seven hundred days ago now. Mm-hmm. When it very started off, like they were talking about doing things to slow the spread. We're going to, the 14 days to slow the spread. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it, it didn't do fuck Nothing. all. Nothing. Yeah. It didn't slow down anything. We had waves of it, you know, which yeah. they were saying all along when you go into certain seasons, you know, flu season, things like this, you know, yeah. it's naturally going to be more abundant during certain times of the year. Yeah. yeah. So there, there were roller coasters of it, but it was pretty consistent even today. There's a big spread of it right now. But not as much casualties, is that correct? Do you think? Um, it's not as lethal, I believe, this variant that we have. It's not as lethal, but what I heard is that Omicron in particular, um, and again, don't know the reliability of these sources, again, Omicron afflicts more of the youth than um, adults, is from what I'm hearing. Mm. You know, they're comparing the hospitalization rates of children you know pediatrics things like this to a few months ago when delta was at its peak when covid was at its peak Uh, because remember initially when covid was really going on like they were talking people were pissed off about making their kids wear masks and a lot of the science came out and said that you know kids with you know prime time immune systems most kids you know as long as they don't have any health issues that you know they're aware of gonna be a-okay a lot of them are asymptomatic yeah truth be told um, you know, so uh, initially there was those, but they, I, they say now that Omicron is affecting the youth more. Mm. So, but they also say Omicron is different, whereas COVID and Delta was a respiratory, a lung situation. Now, COVID or Omicron is something that affects your uh, your nasals, your sinuses more. Throat. A lot of people are getting feeling that uh, like if they got a sore throat. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> What about the vaccines? What do we know? There's a lot of vaccines for each country. I think there's like over 68 or 70 different vaccines worldwide. I think Russia came out with the vaccine. Um, I mean, obviously America. There's another country. And there's been side effects. <laughs> we know there's been side effects. Oh, yeah. Ones, yeah. Well, a lot of the, you know, there's a lot of fucked up cases. There's a girl um, that, you know, she was a trial candidate for being a, a kid that to receive one of these vaccines she's permanently in a wheelchair for the rest of her fucking life now mm-hmm. um there's another girl uh i i think there are two girls another girl 
you know, she got the vaccine, fucking a, another trial thing. And when you do these trials, you can't sue them. Like, you're signing something. Or, no, actually, I think it's under the, um, like, Exemplary Use Act or something, just where they rush it the fuck out. Mm-hmm. That absolves them of any liability if anything happens. So, which is already fucked to begin with. And one of these girls, she got it, you know, can't do anything about it. And she got, like, myocarditis, something that inflames your heart, fucks your heart up big time. I mean, and that's it, a pro- young men, too, as well, right? Yeah. From the vaccine, they're saying. Yeah, man. Yeah. It, it probably, for these young people, um, you know, it probably dramatically, I don't know. I'm just uh, hypothesizing, you know, yeah. that it could dramatically decrease their uh, lifespan. And this stuff we're heard to, we're just kind of questioning the narrative, what's what they're saying, right? Oh, yeah. Um, also, they're saying about I mean, young women mm-hmm. get from getting the vaccine, um, they're seeing reproductive harm. Something with the ovaries, I believe, too. That's what they're saying, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, then, you know, it, it's, I don't know, man. Like I always said, too, get the vaccine if you feel like you need it. I do believe maybe elderly people should take it. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, but kids, psh, fuck that. I'm not. I'm no, not done with that. No, nah. I see. My thing is, is like I don't really give a fuck to be honest with you. Yeah. Um. I, my my mother, for instance, you know, heavy fucking smoker, you know, this and that, you know, in her sixties. I I encourage and you know hope you know. She, luckily, she did get the vaccine. You know, my mom's very conservative. Things like this. Um. Uh, you know, I, when I was born you know i got all the hepatitis vax i got all the vaccines the polio vax whatever the vaccines they give you as a kid i'm not anti-vax i'm anti-mandation yeah right you give people the option you know to to get the jab if they fucking want it but if you feel like you know you this could affect you by all means dude get the fucking jab but don't sit here and and say that you know it's going to stop contraction and you know transmission transmission yeah because that's a not, lot of people are kind of confused when it comes to that they just yeah. like, stop the spread man get your vaccine. And like dude just no. stay the fuck away from it no that. yeah it, all vaccine does is it lessens the likelihood of you having a fatal reaction to contracting covid yeah and again for people that are immunocompromised or have comorbidities or you know just aren't in great health by all means dude get the fucking vaccine i don't want you to fucking die dude yeah but that doesn't mean like i don't go around you know wanting to shove my shit down people's throat yeah that's true at least i try not to all right let's talk about um you familiar like with some of these conditions that cause these kind of viruses like Mm. these outbreaks and shit like the no, nah, they say that COVID came from a wet market, you know, in another country, which could be nasty. But, dude, those wet markets have been around for decades, if not centuries. So you'd think that shit would be popping off way more. I would think if, if you look back at a lot of viruses or whatever, a lot of it can be stemmed from a lot of sanitation stuff. Yeah, sanitation. Just right? having different animals. Fecal matter yeah, when people shit. would shit in the streets and not pick it up, and yeah. you know everything along those lines. You know, and even um, wasn't there a bad shit? I think it was the plague. I'm thinking about started in rats or fleas, fleas or fleas. something. Yeah, that some was of on these, a rat, uh, and then it came over on a boat, and yada yada yada. Yeah, um, zoonosis, zoonosis, I believe it's called. Um, it's the transmission from an animal to human. Or animals to an animal or to a human, mm. and the human spread throughout with each other. Um, pigs are a big reason for that, and then cows, bats, fleas, like you said, mm-hmm. the fleas get onto the rats and affect the rats. Oh yeah, yeah. And then, you know, mosquitoes are a big, big part of that shit too. Man. Oh yeah, anything that needs blood meal. Yeah, mosquitoes, fleas, ticks. Bed bugs, mm-hmm. anything along those lines. Bats. I mean, there's sand flies. Yeah. Sand Sandflies. Um, <laughs> yeah. Ticks, yeah, for sure. Easily anything blood transmitted. Yeah. And um, how about in, like, uh, yeah, just industrial places in very dense population. It's probably not a good um, recipe for that. Probably not, no. I uh, wouldn't think. They said deforestation. Just cutting down trees, you know, okay. releasing... Okay. Maybe shit in the air. Maybe. Also, the opposite of that. Adding a forest to some area that's not supposed to be there, and here comes the bats. Mm, oh, that's I another see. one. I see what you're and um, yeah. drilling and fracking. Maybe digging into pockets. Something within the earth releasing shit. 
Oh yeah. Well, they 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 had that in Antarctica where they drill the ice core mm-hmm. samples, and the, you know, scientists articulate that finding a fuckload. Yeah, you could find you know you drill a hundred feet down into an ice core, you know, in, in a glacier or what have you. It's been around for thousands, tens of thousands of years, and you could find air pockets that were frozen 75 feet down in this ice core from tens of thousands, hundred thousand, maybe millions of years ago. Has its own atmosphere. Yeah, it has yeah. its own atmosphere, its own bacteria, its own everything. viruses, yeah. everything, dude. Just so it's crazy. For reals, man. And then, yeah, getting into some, like, harsh conditions. You know, there's some extremophiles that live in... Those hot fucking yeah. Those plumes like down in the sea. There's mm. um, I don't know what they call them, but it's just like a think of an exhaust vent for the Earth, and it's down at the very bottom of the ocean on the ocean floor. And you know, there's magma not too far into there, so it's just these violently hot. I mean, thousands of degrees. Yeah. And they thought nothing could live in that, and they somehow. I don't know, captured some, studied some. There's living organisms that are not only living, but thriving in liquid that is thousands of degrees, but also, I mean, is devoid of uh, pretty much essentially oxygen. It's all like methane and sulfur and just nasty, harsh gases that you wouldn't think anything could survive. High in. pressure, low pressure, yeah. cold, hot. Oh, yeah, yeah. They live yeah. In everything, bro. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Even the vacuum of space. Yes. So, like, that's a good one to see. Well, they, not to interrupt, but... That's how they say that... One theory that how life was created. There was microbes on a comet that crashed into Earth, like what happened to every planet during its early infancy. Um, and somehow, some of those microbes survived, and from there, it's when evolution started. Yeah, and I think they found some, too. Like, they sent some probe or something, and they had, I think, salmonella on there Maybe. something was, like that and not only did it survive like i think it grew fucking bigger and shit so not only they can Cinderella. survive they can thrive mm-hmm. in fucking space yes and which question maybe a lot of the shit that we have does come from space mm. maybe it had something to do with our evolution as well we're all made up of stardust so some type of mutation you know mm. like in that primordial soup Got onto whatever life that was it that was there at the time. You know, I mean, throughout like different hominids too. We probably got pretty sure we got viruses around that time too. Oh yeah, manipulating our DNA. Maybe that's the answer to human consciousness. So virus. Maybe that virus came from space. Mm. And technically, they're fucking aliens. Maybe. Because if we can find shit in fucking crazy parts on this planet, uh-huh. like hot, cold, like what we're talking about, mm-hmm. they could survive like in the moon of fucking Saturn or on Mars. Well, a lot of times people say they're just really surviving. They're laying dormant. They're kind of in a cryo stasis. Yeah, right? I don't think viruses are alive. They need a host to survive. Right. Well, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. so when they're traveling like on a comet or something, you know, Little at zombies. those yeah. some points, you know, then they are in some sort of cryostasis or something. Yeah. So I don't I don't know, man. That's a wild theory. Though. Like microbes just coming from somewhere else like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's I don't know. I just thought yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean they I mean it is it is an interesting, you know, topic. Just the fact that how viruses can mutate and affect human evolution yeah. essentially. And I heard too like an aphid or some kind of fly the way it gets its wings mm-hmm. they found that it's due to a mutation mm. so for that kind of thing to like maybe i don't know if it's for all flying insects but if there's a mutation that came from a fucking virus that made them grow wings so it just kind of makes you think too what if something happens to us like from a virus maybe we'll mute it, mutate into some fucking x-men motherfuckers maybe, maybe. that would be that would be That'd be cool for a little bit until everybody had those abilities. Yeah. Right? Because once everybody is able to shoot claws out of their knuckles and regenerate their broken bones, I mean, it'd be pretty normal at that point. Crazy shit. Let me see. What else? Biological warfare. I think they done, like, they found, I forgot what podcast, oh, Hardcore History. He was talking about the wrath of Khans and the Khan Empire would catapult 
people over their whatever you call around the fucking castle and shit mm -hmm. and then they would pick it up and they would like spread disease within that fucking compound and shit oh fuck so they knew about shit it would do it's what's crazy too like we knew about a virus before we can even see it before like microscopes were fucking invented we knew about things before then like i, I don't know how you can see things if you can't see it and know that it exists it's like for everything i guess ghosts and all this shit bigfoot people um before the invention of a microscope people probably didn't know how to articulate there that there was this I mean, microscope microscopic wasn't even a word back then i don't think so you know that there was this insanely small particle that would get into your you know body and fuck with your immune system because they knew that people were getting sick you know mm -hmm. so people knew to an extent through what they don't know whether they ingested something or inhaled something or whatnot but you can tell when somebody's sick yeah. so, so they knew of sickness and maybe disease and things along those lines again to what extent I, I'm I don't know I'm only a, a doctor not a scientist <laughs> so um uh you're right yeah. they, they wouldn't be able to sit here and be like oh it's a virus you know that's that's what happened because you think about all the crazy medical practices that they would implement back in the day they'd cut you open bleed you out put leeches on you which they still do today um you know all these crazy things i mean you look at cough syrup back in the 1920s it had coke you know and yeah. the cough syrup you know and cannabis oil and everything along those lines yeah. so uh you know people knew people knew that you know they would get sick and stuff and who knows man if you want to get you want to get deep yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if when aliens came down at some point, because I, I, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a soft believer <laughs> in uh, you know the ancient alien, ancient astronaut theory. Yeah. Um, you know, they could have uh, told them about viruses, given them some sort of idea, because there are uh, civilizations before telescopes. You know, and again, even if you go out to East Texas, West Texas, where there's no light pollution and it's a nice night to look at stars. I still think even back back in those days when there was no electricity or anything, mm -hmm. you could see even faint uh, galaxies and part of the Milky Way and things like that. So, you know, you could do things, you could see things, but so far back before microscopes, they have drawings of the solar systems. Yeah. You know, the solar system. And before they even had the technology to know. So how did they get that? Well, that's maybe that's that whole thing about transpermia, bro. The galaxies were just shooting their load on us and shit, and that's how life fucking sprang maybe. up and shit. It could be a thing, like, uh, in... I can't remember if it's one and two. I think it's one in Men in Black, where that kitty wears that collar that has yeah. the galaxies oh, yeah, and yeah, shit yeah. in there. Yeah. It's a little, you know... Yeah, man, that's exactly what we're talking about. It's own atmosphere, those little pockets in the fucking right. core samples that... Just uh, viruses and bacteria surviving. I mean, essentially, yeah. We could just be in some kind of little fucking bubble, in little a, puddle, in, in in some um, petri dish. Fuck yeah. You know, some petri dish of primordial soup. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. For real, for real. It definitely could be the origin of 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 all life on the planet. That could be. That could be a thing, bro. It could, but I'm just saying, I think, you know, if anything, the reason why maybe they had more of a knowledge basis on it without having the technology is they got that information through divine means. And those divine means, in my opinion, are probably uh, extraterrestrial. For sure, for sure. It's like H.G. Uh, Wells' book, The War of the Worlds. War mm -hmm. of the Worlds? Yeah. War, War, War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds, yeah. Uh, I think the way they defeated the aliens was a common cold. Was it, it that? I think so. That's how the humans killed the aliens. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. No, well, that book. was just... I don't know about the movie. I can't... I don't remember. No, I remember the movie. Yeah, they started getting sick or something because yeah. their immune system just couldn't handle. But, but that could be what aliens did to it. It was like the Prometheus shit. could be somebody oh, yeah. coming here just seeding us and shit. Yeah. No, it, oh, 100%. I mean, it just goes back to kind of the biological warfare thing. Yeah. But, I mean, that's totally accurate. Like, there's definitely... If... Um, They've even said it before, you know, they said if we do find, um, and this is going to be super blasphemous to religious people, because a lot of 
thing is uh, maybe this is just Christianity that's God um, built himself in the same or he built man in the same image as himself mm-hmm. so in that sense in that theory aliens should I be identical to humans but they said uh, odds are if you do find an alien it's going to look crazy because odds are that planet you know could have a different atmosphere it like you know we need oxygen they mm-hmm. might just need methane you yeah. know or just and, meth yeah or just meth and yeah. you know it could just be a planet of you know hot spoons yeah so that's true you know and they could in that that instance they'll have to look totally different their organs and everything will be totally way different so i don't think they'd necessarily look super similar i don't know how what i get down that God path was one of us uh just some something 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 well damn dude there's been a lot of fucking viruses throughout history bro epidemics pandemics you know plagues man there's the Ant- antoine plague mm. let's get into some of these i just want to talk about break it down um i was doing a little research on viruses and shit I'll just throw up a fucking uh, picture or so <laughs> just to show all the viruses of in the past. Dope. There's a few of them. I think it's this one and the plague of Justine, Justine, Justinian. Um, that was like 541 through 750 AD. That went on for a while, bro. These pretty much took down the Roman Empire, bro. There's like empires that fucking came at, to a fall because of viruses and shit. Or wow. maybe just trouble within, you know, power mm-hmm. corrupts absolutely. But maybe well, I'll just show a fucking. Uh, <laughs> it's better if I just show a little clip of how many fucking throughout history. Well, the other thing too is, you know, everybody knows of is um, <clears throat> you were talking about biological warfare when they uh, Europeans or whatever gave the Native Americans blankets that had smallpox. Yeah, and that's how like the fall of fucking the Aztecs yeah. too. And yeah. that just that circles right back to the theory about you know. If your immune system isn't introduced to those things, yeah. it's just going to get fucking annihilated. It yeah. doesn't know how to handle it. Um, what a lot of people don't understand, and you know, I don't want to say that because I don't want to try to paint with a broad brush, so I'll retract that statement. One thing I've heard is what a lot of people are under the assumption about, yeah. um, in my opinion, is that when you get a vaccine or a flu shot or something, in that, it's giving you a little bit of that virus, yeah. so your body knows how to to fight it off mm-hmm. in case of if you you know do get a, a large dose yeah. of that virus in some sense but when your body has no you know doesn't know that that play it's not going to know how to react yeah so uh, it makes total sense in you know isn't biological warfare isn't that illegal in from a war perspective i think so yeah. like i don't i don't know a lot oh, no, about but, that yeah but, but back then i don't think there- all rules no yeah, oh yeah well that was back rules no rule yeah <laughs> that was <clears throat> that was back in the day when you were bo- you know brave as fuck where you would just stand in a line yeah. and you know you Nowadays, would shoot they would shoot so. but i don't know but if this could have been used that way bro like that it's like the whole fucking mass formation psychosis everyone's talking about now mm-hmm. that could be if it, there's a plan to all this you know what i mean yeah then how would you get this shit in motion this is a perfect thing, man. A fucking virus. Separate everybody. Mm-hmm. And just... It, it breaks you as a human. Well, it's Society, funny. all the laws, everything that's going on, all the politics, all the misinformation, that's or information that you can't tell. No one wants to fucking debate each other. You know no. I mean? well, there's a lot of motherfuckers that are saying stuff, but no one else that wants to come and debate. And I think this is a time we need fucking debates more than ever, bro. People to come on whatever platform there is, just fucking talk. But I think the, I think the thing is, is like my my thing, and I'm sure this will resonate with a lot of people, is that people make a business off that, off of yeah. being that personality that shouts their team's rhetoric, yeah. right? Whatever side it is. That's your thing, whether it's Laura Ingram, Alex Jones, I don't know a lot of these personalities, Tucker Carlson, Joe uh, Rogan. you know, Joe Rogan, a lot of these people, you know, that that's a brand, yeah. you know, so, you know, f- it would be detrimental to their financial income, potentially to their, their brand. If they were to go on a large podcast like Joe Rogan, and if they got their dick kicked in, you know, yeah. that's not going to look good for them. So, you know, there's... Uh, an incentive for them to not do that it's better just to muddy the stay waters. in your own and that's what happened that's, that's what, what happened want, now yeah. is people don't understand that social media is siloing people into their own echo chambers 
where all you're hearing is people that reflect your same ideas as you. And when somebody else comes along that has a, an opposing view, they stick their fingers in there and go, la, 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 and they don't want to fucking hear it, yeah. you know? People are so passionate, you know, people, a lot of times, you know, that old saying, you know, you're going to die on that hill. A lot of people are doing that now on every side, dude, every side. And they create the illness to sell the cure. Sad, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm sick with it, bro. Sick with all this shit. I don't know. I don't see. I don't know. I don't think that the shit's here probably here to stay. We just got to adjust to it, man. I don't think fighting and bickering and silencing censoring and all that shit i don't think that's the answer bro well remember really dumb we just gotta get motherfuckers in the ring and duke it out and shit i guess royal rumper style do you remember there were all those protests going on um you know before covid and everything yeah there were protests remember there's that big one in hong kong people mm. were going off in hong kong and then to, I don't know, dude. I think people will probably look back in history and be like, hey, man, Mr. Williams is Dr. Mr. Williams is, is pretty right. Um, it's a funny coincidence how there were all these protests around the world. You know, I'm probably going to be wrong on some of these in Hong Kong, Chile, France, and election Argentina, yeah. you know, all that shit. People were going crazy. And then, you know, a fucking COVID hit and locked everybody down yeah. and, and suppressed and killed all of that momentum and shit. Yeah. You know, and, and my crazy theory is, dude, I don't give a fuck, is that I think they, they did this purposely because, you know, what people refer to as the Great Awakening or the Great Reset or what, what people are, the internet's getting away from the people that, you know, probably created it or whatever. Yeah. And now you can't stop the flow of information. Exactly. And you know we're starting to find out how corrupt we're a lot of these we're things seeing are. Seeing all the glitches in the matrix. Yeah, man. Those are viruses too, bro. There's people out there saying that this is not fucking natural. It's not found in nature or some shit like that. It's like I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not a scientist, but uh, I'm a but I but I am a doctor, so <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll comment for you. Now they say that that COVID, the SARS virus, is an organically derived virus yeah what covid was had artificial mutations inserted injected what have you that was a manipulated virus okay yeah because to this day there's never you know again we just went over a list of things and things like that yeah. i think this is totally different fucking the bubonic plague wasn't started in a lab which i believe covid yeah, was yeah, and yeah. everything yeah. um so covid was the sars is a naturally organically derived virus but co they fucking mutated the fuck out of it made it covid and it 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 got out it got it got out of them there's a lot of theories as to how it was released but it's exactly what you're saying there was no yeah. talk of you know uh like pre-treatment for covid but there was also very little Mm. searching into where the fuck did this originate from yeah. you know we somebody i don't get listen if i do something you know i gotta be held accountable yeah. which i have before in my in in my past and everything along those lines so somebody's got to be accountable for this whether it's us whether it's another country yeah. you know something we got to get to the bottom of it we're in the you just can't censor people, man. You have to have no. everyone say what they need to say. And the fact that have a conversation like home, me and homeboy, and um, that's it, man. That's how we should just get shit done, man. For real, for real. Have that cold war. And the fact that they're censoring information and dialogue and discourse between people to me is just a smoking gun. That they just want their narrative. They just out. want their because you know it. You know they're fucking with their money. Yeah. They're fucking with their money. That's why I said you can't get to the second step of the scientific method. You can't even question shit anymore. No, no. I mean, it's it's you know, you can't talk about vaccines, you know, or anything like this. And you know, now they're 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 going. For, you know, people are still calling people anti-vax Nazis, but you know, now a lot of people are using the that you know you're uh, causing vaccine hesitancy. Hesitancy. Yeah. You know, which is is fucked up. To I each mean, his own, man. Yeah. Just. Listen, I don't, I don't give a fuck. You can misconstrue this however you want. Yeah. My body, my choice. Yep. Period. Simple as that. If, in my opinion, it's as simple as that, dog. So. Where, where is uh, what's his name? Osmosis Jones. Where, we need him. Dog, we need Osmosis Jones 
now, dude. Right the fuck now. That's what's dude, up. we need to clone Osmosis Jones, put him in RoboCop gear, and send him into the immune system of fucking everybody. Kick in the door waving the fo fo. Period. Rest in peace, Betty and Bobby.